Chapter Three of Nights with Uncle Remus. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain and is read by Mark Smith of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Nights with Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. Chapter Three: Brer Rabbit and the Little Girl. What did Brother Rabbit do after that? The little boy asked presently. "'Now, Dan, you don't want to push old Br'er Rabbit too close,' replied Uncle Remus significantly. "'He might attend a foot a creature, and the most what you push him, the further he left you.' There was prolonged silence in the old man's cabin, until, seeing that the little boy was growing restless enough to cast several curious glances in the direction of the tool-chest in the corner— Uncle Remus lifted one leg over the other, scratched his head reflectively, and began. One time, after Br'er Rabbit done been trompin' round hunting up some salad for to make out his dinner with, he find himself in the neighborhoods of Mr. Manhouse, and he passed along twill he come to the garden gate, and nigh the garden gate he see little gal playin' round in the sand. When Br'er Rabbit looked twixt the garden palings and see the collards, the sparrowgrass, and the other garden truck growin' dire, it make his mouth water. Den he take and walk up to the little gal, Br'er Rabbit did, and pull he roach and bow and scrape his foot, and talk mighty nice and slick. Howdy, little girl, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. How you come on, says he. Den de little girl, she spawn howdy, she did, as she asked Br'er Rabbit how he come on, and Br'er Rabbit, he allow he mighty poly, and den he asked if dis little gal, what her pa live up dar in de big white house, which de little gal, she up and say twer. Br'er Rabbit, he say he mighty glad, cause he just been up dar for to see her pa, and he say dat her pa, he sont him out there for to tell the little gal that she must open the garden gate so Br'er Rabbit can go in and get some truck. Den the little gal, she jump round, she did, and she opened the gate, and with dat, Br'er Rabbit, he hop in, he did, and he got a mess of greens, and hop out again, and when he gwine off, he make a bow, he did, and tell the little gal that he much blige, and den after dat he put out for home. Next day, Br'er Rabbit, he hide out, he did, twill he see the little gal come out to play, and den he put up the same tail, and walk off with another mess of truck, and he keep on dis away, twill by and by Mr. Man, he gun to miss his greens, and he keep on a missin' em, twill he got to excusin' everybody on de place and destroyin' of em, and when dat come to pass, the little gal, she up and say, "'My goodness, Pa,' says she, "'you done told Mr. Rabbit fur to come "'and make me let him in the garden after some greens. "'And ain't he done come and ax me? "'And ain't I done gone and let him in?' says she. "'Mr. Man hain't had her study long for he say how dat land lay. "'And den he laugh.' and tell the little gal that he done gone and disremember all bout Mr. Rabbit. And den he up and say, says he, Next time Mr. Rabbit come, you take and turn him in, and then you run just as fast as you can and come and tell me, cause I got some business with that young chap that's bleeds to be tender, says he. Show sure enough, next morning there was the little gal playin' round, and here comes Br'er Rabbit after he allowance of greens. He was ready with the same tail, and then the little gal, she turned him in, she did, and then she run up to the house and holler, Oh, pa, pa, oh, pa, your Br'er Rabbit in the garden now. Here he is, pa. Then Mr. Man, he rush out and grab up a fishing line whip been hanging in the back porch, and make for the garden. And when he get there, there's Br'er Rabbit tromplin' round on the strawberry bed and mashin' down the tomatoes. When Br'er Rabbit see Mr. Man, 
he squat behind a collar leaf, but it twa'n't no use. Mr. Man done seed him, and fore you can count leaven, he done got old Br'er Rabbit tie hard and fast wid the fishing line. After he got him tie good, Mr. Man stepped back, he did, and say, says he, You done been fool me lots of time, but this time you are mine. I'm going to take you and give you a larrapin, says he, and then I'm going to skin you and nail your hide on the stable door, says he, and then to make sure that you get the right kind of larrapin, I'll just step up to the house, says he, and fetch the little red cowhide, and then I'll take in gin you bringer, says he. Then Mr. Man called to the little gal fur to watch Br'er Rabbit whiles he's gone. Br'er Rabbit ain't saying nothing, but Mr. Man ain't mowin out the gate for a gun to sing, and in dem days Br'er Rabbit was a singer, man, continued Uncle Remus with unusual emphasis. And when he tuned up for to sing, he make dem yother creatures hold a breath. What did he sing, Uncle Remus? asked the little boy. If I ain't forget that song off of my mind, said Uncle Remus, looking over his spectacles at the fire, with a curious air of attempting to remember something, it runs sort of dish year way. De jay bird hunt de sparrer nest, de bee martin sail all round. De squirrel, he holler from a top of de tree. Mr. Mole, he stay in de ground. He hide and he stay twill the dark drop down. Mr. Mole, he hide in the ground. When the little gal hear dat, she laughed, she did, and she up and ax Br'er Rabbit for to sing some more. But Br'er Rabbit, he sort of cough, he did, and loud that he got a mighty bad hoarseness down into the windpipe somewheres. The little gal, she swayed and swayed, and by and by Br'er Rabbit, he up and allowed dat he can dance more and samer dan what he can sing. Den de little gal, she ax him, won't he dance? And Br'er Rabbit, he spun, how in de name of goodness can a man dance while he all tied up dis away? And den de little gal, she say, she can untie him. And Br'er Rabbit, he say, he ain't carin' if she do. With dat, the little gal, she reach on and unloose de fish line, and Br'er Rabbit, he sort of stretch hisself and look round. Here Uncle Remus paused and sighed, as though he had relieved his mind of a great burden. The little boy waited a few minutes for the old man to resume, and finally he asked, "'Did the rabbit dance, Uncle Remus?' "'Who? Him?' exclaimed the old man, with a queer affectation of elation. "'Bless your soul, honey!' Br'er Rabbit get her up the foots under him, and he dance out of that garden, and he dance home. <laughs> he did dat. Surely you don't spect that an old timer what done had experience like Br'er Rabbit gwine to stay there and let that er Mister Man sacrifice him? Shoo! <laughs> Br'er Rabbit dance, but he dance home. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> End of chapter 3